What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Oblivion. We are way the heck out here in the middle of nowhere because we are actually going to be finishing up the Skyrim Bandits quest that was added by the Oblivion Overhaul mod. Now, I'd taken out two of the camps and gotten some pretty cool equipment from them. Turns out there's actually a third camp, which I believe is this one. The uh, wiki page... Yeah, I think that guy's wearing the uh, Arctic leather armor or fur armor. Uh, the wiki that you can only access through the Wayback Machine says the far northwest corner of the map, which I'm assuming is here. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, this is our boss enemy. He is pretty strong. Hey, 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 I need that. Jerk. The worst part is every time you get disarmed, it gets rid of your hotkey. Still nothing compared to the uh, Sylvan Rangers. Alright, I have defeated Marlek. He was probably the leader then. He was truly a mighty foe. He was. He was pretty strong. And I've defeated both of the leaders. And yep, that's it. Alright, so let's gather all this stuff. Let's see what we got here. The Dragon's Companion. I think I have a full set of Mithril, but we'll take it anyway, just for the collection, right? I can always sell it. Um, like I said, we'll take a look at that equipment in a second here. Whoops. And one more. Good aim. Now one more. Okay. Good to go. Anybody here? Alright. Give me all your food. Delicious, delicious leeks. Oh, look at that. Mm hmm. Oh, I can't. Oh. Guess we're just gonna have to come back. More food? Yes, please. Oh yeah, look at all the delicious, delicious food. I'm totally gonna make it into potions later. <laughs> Okay, let's go loot the corpse, and we shall move on to something else. Cool. Alright, so the dragon's hunger... 20... 27, so it's not going to be better than that. It does absorb health, which is kind of cool. What about that... Uh, See, resist poison is not really that useful. Spell absorption is kind of cool. And reflect spell. Let's see, how good is that? Five versus five. Yeah. It's okay, is basically the, uh, the short version of that. Uh, cool. So, what else are we doing today? Well, I was kind of looking over the wiki for some of the uh, Oblivion overhaul quests. Some of them sound kind of cool, and I think I'm going to say, oh, I think I'm going to save them. One of them sounded really annoying, so maybe we won't even do it. I don't know. I'm still kind of deciding. That's the uh, goblin one that we've already kind of started. But uh, I was thinking, unless anybody has any other suggestions. Which, you're not going to be able to make the suggestion right in the middle of the episode, so... Yeah. We're going to go ahead and start the Mage's Guild today. 
I figure, why not? Um, so in order to do that, I think we can join from any guild hall. So we'll just head down to my favorite city in the game, Anvil. And we'll join up there. All right, who's home? I want to join. Well met, guildmate. How are things? Don't tempt me. Fantastic. Thank Don't you. tempt me. Good. Safe travel. What can I do for you tonight? Any of the local guild heads can get you into the guild. If you're in a hurry. Fair hill. Goodbye. And I've already done like some quests that relate to the Mage's Guild. I mean, it doesn't matter because my fame is pretty high anyway. But I should have a pretty decent disposition with a lot of the people already. Carahill, you around? Maybe. Hello there. Is there Yes. Tell me more. Your goodness. That, I won't fight you. That works for me. As long as you're not a wanted criminal, there's a place for you in the guild. <laughs> not wanted. All right, then. You're now an associate of the Mages Guild. Yay. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You'll need to receive a recommendation from each local guild hall in Cyrodiil to advance in the guild and be given any sort of responsibility. They can be done in any order, but they must all be sent in to the council before you can enter the Arcane University. That's the goal right there. So, uh, what I'm going to do is just start the first recommendation. Unlike some frivolous tasks you may be given at other guild halls, hey, this hey, is a serious matter. Don't be putting down consequences. Fighters Guild. Are you prepared? Maybe she means the other mages' guild halls. Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the gold road recently, with even more missing. The council has asked that I put a stop to it. So go to a place and kill a guy. I'm very good at doing that. Me do so. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the Brina Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Brina Cross Inn. All right. Bye. See ya. Ooh. So as with uh, Fighters Guild, we can check out the storage chests now. Um, where is... Where's the inn? Did I miss something? Was I not paying attention? Hello, associate. Some mages do not abide. The this is a and what better? The scrolls. Mean the inn lies north of Anvil. Do not. Good day. I don't know why my uh. Quest markers in a weird spot. Uh, we'll run from here. You know what? Ah! Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's just go to the end. I don't have time for you. As we've thoroughly established in previous episodes. I really don't like imps. I'm pretty sure that I've established that. Hello. Now I have a less clear memory about the uh, Mages Guild quests than I did about the Fighters Guild quests. So it's very possible that actually the person I'm supposed to talk to is outside, which is why it's telling me to go back there, but I'm going to try going here first. Good morning. Good to see you. 
Tamriel. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? To what do I owe this pleasure? So Who am I looking for? Bon. You. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Cariel has sent you, as you know. Go okay. sleep with Kristoff. Rent a room for the night. Once you have your room, I will meet you there. You could have been a Anyone little bit less suspicious. You are a traveling merchant. Nothing more. Do not say otherwise to anyone. Well, yeah. I'm just a traveling merchant. <laughs> uh, sure. Welcome to the Breen Cross Inn. Yeah, let's go uh, bed. Why not? Let me guess. Traveling on business? You don't look like you're out for a stroll. I certainly don't. Ah, yes, thought so. We get many of them traveling through here. Oh, well, we used to. Haven't seen as many lately. What with the, uh, well, you know, the murders. I don't like to talk about it much, as it's bad for business. Right, then. The bed is just up. All right. Pardon me. Did I hear you say that you're a traveling merchant? Uh, yeah. Don't you worry, what with the recent killings and all? I'd be ever so scared if it were me. I haven't left the inn in days, just in case. Well, you take could tell she's got the crazy eyes going on. Senseless death. Good luck to you. Thanks. Goodbye. What is it? If you've done good deeds, the Nine will bless you and cure diseases when you visit their way shrines. Oh, this is rather pleasant, isn't it? We're all talking about the Emperor's murder. Anyways, uh, let's take a nice uh, one-hour rest. Oh, jeez. How did you... I'm... Okay. All right, it should be safe to speak here. Once you've rested here, you need to continue along the gold road, heading east towards Kavach. I shall be following out of sight, along with a fellow battle mage. Make no attempts to speak to us. Trust that we will protect you. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need that protection. Should you be confronted by this cowardly mage, do not hesitate to protect yourself by whatever means possible. Once the mage has revealed himself, we will step in and settle a matter quickly. Don't even... Yeah, don't worry about closing the door behind you. Gosh. Some people, am I right? Alright, let's go. As we close the door behind us. Thank you very much. Hello. So, so uh, towards Kavash then, right? Oh, that's not suspicious at all. Come on, guys. All right, we'll just uh, walk this way. Uh, not talking to you. Just like I was instructed. Whoop. Oh, I almost, almost stopped him. All right, so let's go ahead and take a nice little stroll here. I'm curious to see uh, how deadly this supposed uh, rogue mage is. I'm afraid your oh, journey wow. ends here. Oh wow! Nobody you. saw that coming, right? I'll be taking whatever you're carrying after you're dead, of course. I do hope it's more than the last few had. I mean, I totally didn't they see that coming. Most disappointing. It's the eyes, you see. What about the uh, guys that were supposed to come help me? I thought that... Uh... Did I just... <laughs> I just reflect... <laughs> oh. She just killed herself. I reflected the magic back onto her. <laughs> Imbecile! <laughs> oh, that was that was amazing. I was just gonna hang out for a couple of minutes or like a minute and see if they made their way over here, but uh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> hey, 
Everything went better than expected. We're doing a pacifist run now, boys. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? Uh, you could say that. A she, you say? And she's dead. Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. Hey, hey now. No more innocent. All right, they can have the credit. It's fine. At least for now. Technically, I didn't really even do anything. Done well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my you did well enough for yourself, allowing her to be killed Though by I herself. Must say, I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. Hmm. Take care. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't get over that. I legitimately was not planning that. Oh boy. By the way, thanks for the comment about uh, Shade Leaf Copes. Made sense once you uh, let me know. All right, um, do we just go left to right? We'll go to Skingrad now. Why not? We'll try and knock out a couple of these in this episode. Most of them, I think, should be pretty quick. Uh, I'm trying to remember where the Mage's Guild actually is here. Oh, well, we'll find it if we just run around in circles for a while. Look at that. Let's just run around in circles a couple times. Okay, good to go. Greetings, apprentice. I've seen Shamir at the Tamika Vineyards practicing archery. He's really good. I might try to get some pointers from him. It's I'm not you, is service. it? Adriana Barena is Okay. Greetings, Evoker. Hello. Did you hear that the knights of the I hope this is important, Associate. It is. I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. I gotta say, the faces that we've been seeing this episode are actually pretty on point for Oblivion faces. Apparently the Mages Guild has the most beautiful people or something. I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Erthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? I think I can. Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Okay. Have Erthor Safe see travel. me when he gets back. Hello, associate. What? Who are you? Well, who cares? I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? Charming. I haven't seen him in quite some time, but then this isn't the first time he's been away, so I wasn't really that concerned. Good. I hear you got... A nice enough guy, I suppose, but there was that awful scamp incident last year. That's when Adriana told him he needed to practice somewhere else. Somewhere else? Meaning somewhere far away. Mm -hmm. So we settled down in Bleak Flats Cave. Oh, there we go. We work there and came back to town twice a week to check in. I'm here to help if you need me. Thanks, friend. It was already pretty helpful. So where is this cave? You're not going to mark it on my map for me? Hold on. Hold on. You know. Oh dear, I just can't seem to remember where that is. It's alright, you were still pretty helpful. Good day. It's just northwest of Skingrad. Thanks. That's where Erthor wound up. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. <laughs> Good luck Alright, where are we at? Right there. Perfect. A rather pretty area of the map, isn't it? Look at that. I've said it so many times, but Oblivion does still look rather nice.
Yes, indeed. And I know I've also said it plenty of times, but I enjoy the fact that Oblivion, like Morrowind, has quite a variation in its uh, landscapes. Like this looks completely different than the coast, which looks completely different than the mountains, etc. It's nice, you know? It is nice. I really do like this game a lot. Oh boy. This guy's gotten himself into some trouble. Might as well try working on the archery skill a little bit, huh? Like, where is it? Blip. 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 And the blip. Pretty good ratio of uh, arrows coming back to me. Not that it matters too much after I found out that I can just go into one of those uh, Sylvan Ranger areas kill, like, five dudes and end up with, like, infinite arrows. That's where I got all these, in fact. I have, like, a stockpile of, like, braided arrows and whatnot. All three, I like it. So, uh, I wonder... And again, because I don't really remember it super clearly, did our boy just end up in an unfortunate situation, or is he messing around with the necromancy? Because that is definitely frowned upon in Cyrodiil. No uh, greater bonewalker summoning here. Granted, it is kind of funny that necromancy is frowned upon in Morrowind. And yet, you can just summon a greater bone walker and nobody really cares. By the way, pretty much the scariest enemy in any Elder Scrolls game. The greater bone walker. Erthor is getting wrecked. <laughs> well, at least we know he's in here. And we also know that he's essential. Get him, Erther. Ouch. Yeah. Way to pull your own weight. Good for you. They're all gone? I can leave the cave? You're heading back to Skindrad, aren't you? Could I maybe come with you? <clears throat> all right. Oh, thank you. I'll be right behind you. I can't wait to be back in Skindrad. First, I'm going to steal... Oh, it all counts as his stuff, so I can't steal it. Alright, anyways. No, really? Audrian, yes. I'm back! On Dana, I was rescued! Has got some fine so it would seem... Some of the finest You're unharmed, I presume? Well, my pride is a little wounded. Ha 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 ha. spare me. You're lucky I bothered to send someone right. after you at all. We have no In the future, would you well please be more careful? Thanks. Uh, well, yes. I'll just pack up my supplies and be on my way then. Thank you for sending someone to help me. This guy's the happiest skilled yeah. member right here. Good to see you. Well met. Well, now she's all happy. Good to see you. I've spoken with Erthor, who seems to be all right. Good work. I'll see to it that your recommendation is sent in as soon as I have a free moment. So never, basically. As I've said, I'm rather busy. What okay. is it, Associate? All right. I think we got time to knock out one more. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Uh, we'll continue to the east. To the northeast. Coral. Um... Mage's Guild, Mage's Guild, where are you? 
right here, yeah? Yep. How goes it? Not bad. Some of the guards are so kind. Courteous and service with a smile, you know? My pleasure, really. Hello. I'm Castor Scribonia, the writer. Author of Woman Gone Wild. You don't say. Uh, I'll be back to talk to you later. Bye. Anybody home? I need recommendations. She's probably walking around on the bottom floor. He or she. I don't remember who the... What can I do for you, Sina? Goodbye. Found him. I had to lockpick through what his door. Associate? <laughs> I just uh, illegally broke into your room, and now I want a recommendation. I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. Mm -hmm. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana, you can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. All right. She and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. I would like you to find out what it is. Determine what she's after and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here, spreading her lies. I know an easy way to get rid of her, but uh, I'm guessing that would be frowned upon the way that I have in mind. Where is the dang door? There it is. Gosh. All right. You there. Hi there. Good day, ma'am. And... Haven't you seen her around town? She's either at the Grey Man. Thank you. Wait. Yes? He's captain of the Coral Guard. Oh, yeah, that was from that other quest. You too. All right, so she should be at the inn. Let us head on over. I'm just going to make a habit of this, apparently. Hey, wake up. Need to talk to you. Ah, yes. You are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes. Yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Mm -hmm. Best if kept just between us, yes? So, what say you? Of course. Excellent. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. I, however, can and would very much like to. You'll find it in an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. Okay. Return it to me immediately when you have it. North of Coral, up in the mountains. Alright, well it's probably around here somewhere, right? It might even be over here.
I think we're getting warmer. Yep, I think we're getting warmer. We are right about here, by the way. Speaking of uh, Morrowind, right? This is very Morrowind-esque. I don't have an exact location, but uh, go in this general direction. Hey, that was hard. I love how she couldn't just come up here herself. It's literally like 100 feet from the area. Um... Hmm. Although it would appear that I might have to activate something before I can get this, unless the book is around here and I just need to find it. Okay, so apparently we've gotten a little bit overzealous because my quest log says that we need to go see our boy about it first. I was just going to go grab the thing, but I guess this is fine. Hey! Bro, it's like... Okay, it's six in the morning. Never mind. <laughs> Good day. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Well... This is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the guild. Hmm. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Finding that book. I mean, I I literally already did, but I guess we'll go back and do it again. See, where this Mora went. Just saying, were this Morrowind, I could have gone there without ever having the quest and found the book, right? But it's okay. It's all right. What, uh, what happened here in like the 20 minutes that I was gone? Oh, well. Thank you. Oh, wait. Shoot. Hold on. I think I need to not quick loot that. Because I didn't get a quest uh, update there. It might not matter, but remember I did mention that the uh, quick loot mod... Occasionally for quest items, you gotta... There we go, see? Ooh! I can get two copies of it. <laughs> nice. Alright, so the way this quest goes down is if you deliver it to her, she gives you a spell, I think? And if you deliver it to him, you get fame. Something along those lines. I don't care about the spell, so we're just going to send it directly to him to uh, keep it short. Although she, I think, can ask you to steal it back, but I don't care. And we're running out of time here. I gotta go wake up my buddy again. I'm like... So, oh, hey, he's not here anymore. Oh. I'm, like, so overzealous to get that recommendation. I just keep waking him up. Dude, get back here. I am anxious to... Well met. You found the book. My trust in you was well placed, it seems. What? I see. Perhaps it's just as well. The book is best left in secret. If you were to know... Wait, what? Okay, it's broken somehow. Shoot. Oh, wait, what the? Hold on. Okay, so something is glitched. I'm guessing it's because of the uh, loot menu. So we're going to use the wiki here and try this. 
set stage mg05 fingers and stage is the number oh wait and mg05a and we want to go to stage 100 is this right no okay set stage mg05 fingers 100 there we go what can i I hope yes. that doesn't ruin anything. You murder someone, the dark brother who comes to you in your sleep. It's up. It should be okay though. I've delivered the fingers of the mountain book. He's agreed to write a recommendation for me. And let's go tell her really quick and see what she has to say. And that way we'll know if it uh worked. Because she should ask for the book, and then I'll say no, I gave it to him, and then then we'll know. See, like I said, every once in a while the loot menu thing does mess up quests. However, we can fix pretty much all the issues by using the console. Well met. You ever uh, talk to Hi there. Where is she, though? But he seems to know his way around Hang on. Words. Hang on. Okay, looks like it's working. What? You gave him the book? What were you thinking? All right, all right, we can deal. You're in the guild, aren't you? You should be able to bring it to me once you have it. Nope. Is that so? Bah. I was... What is it? What's the latest? Okay. Someone was able to lift the curse from that poor man at the chapel. Completed. Good. It says completed. Well, we'll see if that ends up breaking the Mage's Guild quest line later on. But for now, dear friends, I think it is time for us to quit. Next time, what are you doing over here? Hello. Oh, hey, it's Darma, my buddy. Um, for now, we will call it quits. And uh, next time, we'll just be continuing on in this vein, trying to knock out either the rest of them or almost all the rest of them. I hope you've enjoyed so far. It's kind of a little grab bag of quests. Really, the interesting ones kind of start once you get into the Arcane University, and we start getting into some, uh, well, I won't spoil it. But uh, until next time, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, you got to witness a little bit of problem solving there using the uh, console. So thank you very much, and I will see you next week for the next episode. Until then, everybody.